Hi, Professor O'Malley. I had a lot of fun going first when I did my impromptu speech. I actually really like my confidence. I think it's probably very few in between that you get confidence like I do in speaking. And I don't mean that to sound too far-fetched because I do have a lot of background knowledge in speaking, especially because of past jobs that I've had and just that some of the people that I've interacted with were just kind of that way where I had to know how to speak to them. So one of the things that I really liked about my speech was my hand gestures. Um, I know you pointed out that they were more in front of me, and I'll get to that later because it is also one of the things I thought I could improve on, but I tried to be more moving than I usually am. Um, usually I like put my hands in my lap or put them behind my back or whatever. I just normally don't use my hands that often, so I try to be really, you know, come out using my hands more. Another thing that I like is my confidence. I really have confidence in my confidence that I am a good speaker. And I know there's a lot of things I can improve on, but past jobs such as my one at a car dealership where I was constantly answering phones and dealing with customers, it's just one of those things that I've naturally adapted to with speaking. Plus I used to be a dog trainer, so it's really easy for me to speak to people. And a large crowd isn't that much different because I've always done stuff in front of large crowds. A lot of my teachers back in the day actually had us do theater in like English class where we would have to present, let's say something in front of a large audience or just in front of like empty seats just for us to get over those nerves. It was something that I think really helped us. One thing that I think I could improve on is my eye contact. I didn't seem to have a lot of eye contact just here and there, especially because I was so unsure about my topic. Um, I do have a lot of friends, but not so much best friends, and so it was hard for me to come up with something that I thought was good, especially because that one friend that I talked about did end up moving away, so we don't really talk that much anymore, so for me to call her best friend was kind of weird, but I, w I ended up thinking a lot, and that's, I think, why I looked away, but I did try to keep eye contact, but it's just something for me personally that when I think and stuff, it just... I can't think about it. <laughs> can't think about that one thing. So I also think that my movement, going back to what I said earlier, could also have been worked on. My hand movements, like you said, they were really in front of me. They just weren't like large or small or whatever. Um, they were very just in front of me and confined. Uh, I also thought that my movement with my feet and everything weren't solid. Like I've seemed very unsure when I did them. So I think completely like nailing that down and being confident where I'm standing will also help me build that confidence that I have even more. And my last one was volume. Like you said, it's you plus 10%. And I feel like I already have a very loud voice. So for me, I kind of tried to pull it back a little bit because I just like speaking loud. I like getting my point across and just being direct. And so for me, I thought I was already giving that 10% where I guess I wasn't. And when I went back and looked at my speech, I could tell that the volume wasn't really that that loud, and I need to project more. Anyways, that was my critique of my speech. Thank you.